Um, let's start the stream. Let's do this. Okay, everybody, we should be live. I'm just going to check the stream to see if it is working or not. I think it is. So if you are here early, welcome to you. It is very good to have you here. Today's Friday, 1.56 p.m. exactly. I'm going to start the presentation in about nine minutes or so. Okay, I'm just going to mute this. So welcome if you're joining early. Please let me know if you can see me and hear me in the chat box. So there's a little chat box to the right of the, the video. And um, yeah, just let me know in the chat box if you can see me and if you can hear me. And also, um, if you are watching the replay, then you can fast forward a few minutes. You can skip this part of the video to get straight to the presentation but if you're here live you can't do that so uh, yeah you're going to have to listen to me talk so as I said we are going to start the presentation um, at about five past I've just sent an email out to everybody on my list to let them know that we're starting I'm just going to let other people know as well I'm gonna copy the um, Oops. I'm going to copy the address. Hopefully. Huh. Okay. Maybe that just interrupted, but I'm back live again. I'm just going to copy the address so I can paste it elsewhere. Are you guys excited for this live lesson? I hope you are. Please come say hello in the chat box. I'm just going to find my... Um, event here. Yes, I can see and hear you. Good to have you here. Um, Subake. I think that's how you pronounce your name. Subake. So thank you. Thank you um, for being here. I'm going to post this into the event page. Sorry about the administration. Um, these things that we have to do. Franklin says, I can see and hear you. Sami is here. Fantastic. So everybody is starting to join. And obviously the the link is working so thank you for being here um, we've got quite a lot of people watching live right now which is great this is going to increase as more people join we've got Pedro who is here please let me know in the chat box what you're currently drinking I want to know what you're drinking and also tell me what time it is where you are so tell me what time it is where you are and what you're drinking it is 2 p.m. here. I'm drinking a coffee. It's um, decaf coffee. Trying to um, mentally trick myself into getting more energy. Believing it's caffeine, but it's not. If I have caffeine after 12 o'clock, I don't sleep very well. So it's decaf. That's why I'm drinking this. Ricardo here. It's all okay. Thank you for your comment. Joek is drinking vodka. You're in Poland. It is 8 p.m. where you are. So vodka at 8 p.m. is always a good idea. <laughs> That's uh, not actually true, but thank you for sharing. We've got uh, Manuel here. Good to have you, Manuel, from Spain. We have Romesa. Hello, everyone. Good to have you back again. Hi, all. Hello, Cancer. My real name is Besant. means pansy in English. Wow. That's uh, quite a good translation. Cancer's here. It's tea time for Manuel. Manuel is drinking tea. Tell me what type of tea. So you can drink black tea, green tea, white tea, or specific kinds of herbal tea. So let me know what kind of tea. Um, and <laughs> I love this comment. Ania says, to understand English, only vodka. Fantastic. Cancer says, how are you? I am doing very well. I'm actually, um, I've, I've been a little bit ill this week. Again, I think I said this in a live video or on Facebook, that I'm fighting something off. That my body is trying to stop me from getting sick. Because there are a lot of bugs going around, a lot of germs. And people feel sick at the moment. So my body's fighting that off. Therefore... I am tired. 
Wow, loads of comments. I'm going to bring up the comment box in here so you can see it. I'm just going to read through these comments. I just need to change a couple of things. So Pedro says, 7 p.m. Um, in the Canary Islands, very cool. Vicente is drinking water. Ronaldo, greetings from Colombia. Where in Colombia? I'm going to move over. Where in Colombia? I have been to Medellin, to Santa Marta, um, and to Ganga. There's also somewhere else. No, I think that's it. Medellin, Santa Marta, and Taganga. Fantastic time. In 2007, that is. So let me know where you're from. Um, it's 9 p.m. in Qatar, noon, where Vicente is. In Cl No, where, where are you from, Vicente? Let me know. I'm drinking water, and it's 3 p.m. here in Brazil. 9 p.m. in Syria. Thank you, Sami. Arena says, from the UK, it's Valentine. What do you mean it's Valentine? Is that your name? Um, Nagar says 9 p.m. from Turkey, lemonade time. Very cool. Coffee, Cancer's drinking coffee, 9 p.m. in Saudi Arabia, 9 p.m. Um, Irina says. Andres, I'm in Valencia, Spain. It's 8 p.m. here. Very cool. I lived in Valencia for two years. Sorry, for one year. Firstly, on Calle Roteros. And then Calle de... Oh, what was that name? Calle del Horno de los Apostoles, I think. Very close to um, Plaza de la Virgen, in the centre. I miss Valencia. Hi, Jack and everyone. How are you all? Greetings from Florida. Good to have you, Martha. Uh, good to have you back. A lot of people from Syria. That's right. 3.01 p.m. Ricardo. Cansa, invite, I've invited some friends to attend your amazing lesson. Thank you so much. Mohammed says, hi, hello to you, Mohammed. I drink vodka because I'm a little bit disappointed. Sorry to hear that you are disappointed. Um, probably a better way to say this is I'm a little bit sad or I'm a little bit down. When you say disappointed, usually people know what you're talking about. I'm disappointed about this or I'm disappointed about that so you can say I'm a little bit down well hopefully this lesson will cheer you up it will make you feel happy um Olympia it's 11 a.m in Mexico very cool Ricardo greetings from Brazil Irina I am from I am on my daughter's account thank you for letting me know so um Valentine okay I'll try and remember Valentine I'm from Colombia too, but live in Sarasoto, Florida. The sh sun, sh sun, that's a tongue twister. The sunshine state. Yep, Florida is incredible. Um, you know, for sun and the weather at this time. All year round, it has great weather. Let's see. Ten Leal Jorge Luis Leo Silva. <laughs> Big hugs from Brazil. Hugs back to you. Pedro, I'm driving. So I can't drink anything at the moment. However, I think I'll drink two beers as soon as I finish this lesson. Two beers. Very cool. Thank you, Jack. Good to be here again. Good to have you. Sidon, how are you? What time is it there? It's 9 p.m. here in Russia. It is 2 p.m. here in Asheville, North Carolina. El Paso, Texas. Greg, it's pretty much like Periscope. Like it. Yeah. These live lessons are kind of similar to Periscope. I did not realize that we could have this live chat on the YouTube video. So I'm very grateful to have that here. It just, it makes live lessons so much better. So much better. Good morning from Japan. It's 3 a.m. now. How are you doing? Wow. That's, uh, that's either late or early, depending on if you went to bed or if you're if you have stayed up okay 8 p.m in poland and sami says i'm drinking peppermint tea very cool um okay for those watching live uh which you all are a lot of people are joining which is great great to have you here please give this video the thumbs up just click thumbs up and also if you want to help me, you can share it on Facebook, on Google+, on Twitter, on VK. You can just click the share button below this video 
and share it on your favorite social media website. So um, yeah, I'd be very grateful if you did that. Now, a couple of things. I need to get my hair cut. I notice this when I make these lessons that I need to get my hair cut. So I'm going to try and get my hair cut quite soon. Now, I made a video on this to get something done, to get my hair cut, to get my car fixed. This is when someone does it for you and it's a good phrase to know. So after watching this lesson, go to my video page and search for get something done and you can watch that lesson but I need to get my hair cut. I'm desperate at the moment. <laughs> Franco is here. Hi teacher. Hi everyone. I'm from Italy. Good to have you. I have only been to Italy once. I went to uh, Pisa, Florence and um, Bergamo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Bergamo. Maybe that's right. We have Hossein from Iran. One of my best friends in the world is from Iran. Um, he's lived in England since he was nine. Marcos, ten past eight in Spain. Very cool. Greg, Greg White, is there any special topic you talk about or is it random? Well, it's a good time to introduce the topic. Today, what we're going to do is something a little bit different. We're going to look at an article. I'm going to show you this article now. Um, hopefully it's this button. Okay, fantastic. So we're going to look at an article. And I highly recommend that you drink, the, drink this. Sorry, I was reading the comments. Sorry. I highly recommend that you read this article. It's called How to Stay Focused When You Get Bored Working Toward Your Goals. Now this is very good for English learners or anyone who wants to achieve something. So what we're going to do in this lesson, I am going to share some paragraphs from this article, look at the language that it uses, and then we'll have a little bit of a discussion about it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. I'll just show you very quickly. I have some notes for this lesson too. So we'll go through these these different notes and the, the paragraphs and the, the what we can learn from it. Okay, so that's what I've prepared for today. And I think it's um <laughs> I think you're going to find it useful and hopefully uh, we can get through this in good time. So let's just go back to the, the comment section. Franco says, Wow, Tuscany, yeah, I love to it's so beautiful. We took a train ride through Tuscany from Pisa to Florence, oh, it's incredibly beautiful. Joe says, generally we drink a lot of tea, but I prefer coffee because it gives me power to be awake. It does. You can get strong tea as well, which helps you, but generally coffee is stronger than tea. And then a strange name, which I can't pronounce. Please tell me your real name. Do you have an account on Skype? I do, but I don't, um, I don't share it. It's for personal use. I used to give lessons on Skype, but now I focus on my different courses. And um, in 10 days, my course is going to open again. So you can check that out. Okay. Are you guys ready to get started? It's nearly 10 past two. We have got quite a lot of people watching. I think we've got about 80 something people live. If you're watching live, Come say hello in the chat box and we'll go into the chat box at various points. Please comment on the lesson as well. So, you know, when I mention something, please, you know, give your opinion on this. Ask me questions that are relevant to what we're talking about. It's great to get your input on all of these things. Okay, maybe I just need to turn this light on to because it's getting a little bit dark outside. I think that's a little bit better, isn't it? That's a bit bright. One second, I'm just gonna actually change my webcam settings and just turn down the brightness a little bit, I think. Um, I do like, that's not good. I do like to have, um, sorry, I, I can't multitask very well. 
I do like to have uh, good quality video or the, the best I can get it. I like it when my hair is nice and my hair is terrible at the moment. I posted a video on having a bad hair day. I'm sure you uh, have seen that. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm ready. What's the best channel to listen to English? Okay, I'll answer that question at the end. So what I'm going to do is, you guys who've been here before realize that I edit this part out after the video. So if you're here live, you get this, this bonus part of the English lesson. It's only available to you if you're here. So let's get started. Hello everybody, this is Jack from tofluency.com and in this English lesson, we're going to do something a little bit different. Now, do know that I am recording this live. So, if you are here live, welcome to you. Please leave comments in the live chat box. If you're watching the replay, you can leave comments below. But do understand that people are watching this live and you might hear my dogs, you might hear people knocking at the door. I'm not going to edit any part of this video from now on. So, you're going to get a real live English lesson. Now, what we're going to talk about today is getting bored. More specifically, what to do if you get bored of learning English. So if you get bored with English, or if you think English is boring at times, then this lesson is for you. And you're also going to learn different types of vocabulary. We're going to introduce some phrasal verbs today phrasal verbs that I use in real situations and from the article we're going to see so that you know exactly how to use them. So what you need for this lesson, and I'm going to bring this on my screen now, is this article. It's jamesclear.com slash stay focused. And he wrote an article which is called how to stay focused when you get bored working toward your goals. Now, today we're not going to read the entire article, but I am going to share parts of it. And please check the description below so that you can read the full article. It is such a good article. It uses great English, very simple. It's, it's written very simply, so it's easy to understand. And um, it's great if you're an English learner. So do check that article out. As I said, there is a link in the description. And you can apply what this person, what James Clear talks about to your English learning. And I'm going to help you understand that today. But first, let's go to this and just say, I did make a video called How to Enjoy Learning English. And if you go to tofluency.com slash lesson four, this will direct you to this live lesson. So I recorded this a couple of weeks ago and you're going to find this very useful. Lots of advice here on how to enjoy learning English. And we're going to talk more about that today, but specifically what to do when you get bored working toward your fluency goal. Now, if you haven't got this already, go to tofluency.com slash fast to download your free PDF. It has seven tips and some bonus tips, but seven tips that will help you learn English fast. Now you just need to go to that website, to fluency.com slash fast, enter your email and I'll send it to you straight away. And you can keep this forever for free. So make sure that you do that. Also, if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome, please subscribe. Just click the button to subscribe to get notified of my upcoming videos. I'm making a lot of videos and you're going to find these really useful. So let's just quickly go into the comment section and I'll show you um, what people are saying. So if you're watching the replay, then know that people are commenting on this. Now, there's one comment that I saw and Cancer says, I never get bored. I never get bored. Now, I sent out an email to those on my list talking about the difference between I am bored, I get bored, and it's boring. 
So when cancer says, I never get bored, she's saying that she never feels bored. She never goes through the process of becoming bored with English, which is fantastic. However, I know a lot of learners who at times feel a little bit bored with their English. A lot of the times it's because they're doing the wrong things and they're not making progress. But as we're going to look at today, it can be a bigger issue and I have a solution for you. So let's start with the first paragraph that I want to share. Um, and it's this. Now, James Clear is talking about how sometimes he goes from one project to the other. And I'm just gonna read this to you so you can read and listen at the same time. For example, I'll start one project, work on it for a little bit, then lose focus and try something else. And then I'll lose focus on my new goal and try something else, and on and on. When everything is said and done, I've stopped and started so many times that I never really made much progress. So, what I want to just talk about quickly is when I have done this in the past. When you start something, but then you get bored of it, so you start something else. Now, I have done this with languages, okay? So I started learning French, got bored of French, stopped. I started learning Italian, got bored of learning Italian, so stopped again. And I've done this with German too. So sometimes it can mean when you start a goal, for example, learning English, and you get bored of it and you just stop. You know, you move on to something else and start another goal. So please let me know in the comment section if this has happened to you, okay? If you have started to work on a project, then you lose focus and then try something new. Please let me know in the comment section if this has happened to you. Now, another way that this can happen is with the methods you use to learn English. So for example, you might start taking lessons at your language school but then you get bored of these, so you stop and try something else. You might start using the sentence method. There's a link in the description that talks about this. You might start using the sentence method, get bored of it, and then move on to something else. This happens to us a lot. It's very easy to start something, get bored, and then move on to something else, okay? So understand that this is a problem and it happens to everyone. Raphael says, yes, that happened with me. So thank you for sharing that. Now, one thing I do want to share as well is work on something. Now, this is a good phrasal verb to know, and it means spend time on producing or improving something. So to, spend, to work on your English just means spend time trying to improve your English, okay? So this is a really good phrasal verb to know, and I've actually made a video about this before. Now I'm just gonna bring up the comments again, and just to um, go through what some people have said. So Taxon says, getting bored is a real problem because I can't stand learning English as I did it. I only like to watch films and videos, read books, but when it comes to grammar or learning words, it's terrifying. So thank you for sharing that. This video is going to help you with that problem. Um, Olympia says, me too. Greg says, I think it's always happening, but only if you follow a boring method. Fantastic. And then, um, yeah, I'll answer the question about Periscope at the end. We'll keep comments on topic for now. So that's a really good start to, to this lesson. Let's have a look at the next paragraph that I want to share. Real, su really successful people feel the same boredom and the same lack of motivation that everyone else feels. They don't have some magic pill that makes them feel ready and inspired every day. But the difference is that the people who stick with their goals don't let their emotions determine their actions. 
Top performers still find a way to show up, to work through the boredom, and to embrace the daily practice that is required to achieve their goals. So I'll just give you a moment just to think about that for a second. Okay, so what James Clear is saying here is that everyone has this feeling of boredom. We all, at times, suffer from a lack of motivation. So if you feel this, if you sometimes get bored, if you sometimes don't have the motivation, know that this happens to everyone. And as James says, even successful people, they, they have this problem as well. And what he says is they don't have this solution that makes them feel inspired every day. So really successful people don't have this everyday attitude of, I'm so motivated. He says that the difference is the people that stick with their goals don't let their emotions determine their actions. Now, feeling bored is an emotion. So if you feel bored, then maybe you don't do it. And he says, top performers, you know, those who reach their goals, they work through the boredom. They embrace this daily practice that is required for them to achieve their goals. Okay, so let's just talk about pronunciation training, for example, and doing drills. I think doing pronunciation drills and exercises is a great way to improve your pronunciation, but it can be a little bit boring. What makes people successful is that they can deal with this boredom and they can continue with this daily practice. Now, I'd love to just see in the comment section if you agree with this or not. I would love to just see very quickly if you agree with this or not. And I'm just gonna bring up the comment section as well because people are making comments right now. So, let's have a look. So VJ says, just be disciplined and there will be no need for motivation. Um, oh, Irina says, is it possible to live without emotions? Really good question. And then Greg says, I believe everyone should learn a new language as they learnt the native one with their mother. So you're saying that people should use like methods that children use to improve their English. Very cool. Very, very cool. Now I'm just going to give my opinion on this. And I think that, you know, part of this is true. That there are times when we just need to focus on the process and we're going to see this in a second okay how to do it and the reason why it's important but i've also got some more advice for you as well if you find english boring if you find the process of learning english boring i've got some other advice for you too but before we do that i want to share a couple of things from that last uh, paragraph work through something Okay, so James talked about working through this boredom and it's to manage or deal with a problem that has many different parts step by step. Okay, so it's to manage or deal with a problem that has many different parts step by step. So working through something as well suggests that this problem is difficult. It's a difficult problem to overcome. And he also used the word embrace, and this is to accept something with enthusiasm, which is a great word to use. Now, I've noticed my mistake here. I put embrace. It should be embrace. So please forgive me there. Let's move on to the last paragraph that I want to share with you. Um, and just to say, a lot of people saying that they agree with the article, which is great. Now, the last paragraph is this. But if you look at the people who are consistently achieving their goals, 
you start to realize that it's not the events or the results that make the difference. Or sorry, that make them different. It's their commitment to the process. They fall in love with the daily practice, not the individual event. Okay? This last sentence, I think, is the key. They fall in love with the daily practice, not the individual event. So, daily practice and not the individual event. The individual event, when learning English, is going from intermediate to advanced. This is the event. The process is what you do on a daily basis to get to that point. When you focus too much on this and the difference, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do this. Pro <laughs> when you when you focus too much on the <laughs> sorry, the um the the camera angle, it's mirrored. So when I move this way, my arms move this way in the video. Okay, let me try and do this again. I'm going to move over here. Put my arms over here. When you focus too much on this, okay then you can feel down and depressed. But if you just focus on the daily practice, what you need to do on a daily basis, that is when you're going to see results. And it's something I always talk about. And I think it's such a valuable thing to know that when you focus on enjoying your pronunciation drills, when you fall in love with the daily practice, with the TV show you watch, with my videos, then the event will happen, okay? The event will happen. So I think this is such an important thing. And if there's one thing that I want you to take away, it is this, focus on the process. Focus on the process. So focus on that daily practice. Enjoy the daily practice. Okay, I'm going to bring up the comment sections again. Um, let's have a look. Uh, so, got someone leaving. The main thing is learning. Yes, Sami says, to avoid getting bored, make it fun and a habit. You're going to see this in a second. You sound like Harvey Specter. That's interesting. Um, yeah, Harvey Specter, this is a character from Suits a TV show, and he talks about success a lot. I love Harvey Specter, you know, and his character. So you can check out Suits, which is a TV show, very enjoyable. Fall in love with this TV show. That's falling in love with a daily practice. Martha says, that's very true, but when there are other responsibilities, it's difficult to keep it as an only goal. This is such a good thing to say. You know, when, this is a different topic, a completely different topic. But in short, it's important, if it's important to you, to make it a priority. And then, as we're going to see as well, try to fit more English into your life through habits. And that's something I've talked about in one, one of my lessons. If you download the guide, you'll be able to get the summary of that how to learn English while doing other things. Irina says, sometimes we think so much about the goal, we forget about the process. Perfect, exactly right. Taxon says, if you focus on enjoying daily practice, how do you know what steps you need to do to achieve the next level of English? And how do you know when you achieve what you needed? This is when my fluency equation helps, knowing how quickly you can get to where you want to be and what methods you need to use and how much time you need to spend on it, okay? So download my book, The Five-Step Plan for English Fluency. If you download that guide, I'm going to send you that book as well. So that goes through this and it's going to help you do this. Gregory says, can we take a break in learning? Yes, definitely. I'm gonna make a video about this soon about getting away from it all. 
Now, let's share a couple of other things. Oh, just oh, one more comment here. Two more comments. I think it's about setting goals and laying out a plan. Exactly right. You set a goal. You realize why this goal is important. You create a plan based on what you need to do. And then you stay consistent with it. And you can stay consistent by focusing on the process and falling in love with the daily practice. So let's just go back to the keynote file, the presentation. Now, I, you know, we talked about before, so me says it's important to make it a habit and to have fun. And that's exactly my next two slides. How can I do this while having fun? How can I learn English? while having fun? This is a question you should ask yourself. How can I make this process, this daily practice, as much fun as possible? Because when you do that, you're going to enjoy it, you're going to do it, and you're going to make more progress. So try and make it as much fun as possible. This includes doing the daily practice. But it also includes just listening to things and watching things and enjoying using English. And like Sami says, it's important to get into the habit of learning English, to get into the habit of your daily practice. Because once it's a habit, it's not difficult. As a child, you got into the habit of brushing your teeth every day or twice a day. You do it now because it's a habit. I go to the gym five times a week. It's easy for me to do because it's a habit. It's a routine. I do it at a specific time of the day. At first it was difficult. I had to push myself, but I got into the habit of doing it. So when you get into the habit, of learning English, of your daily practice, then it becomes easier. And the last point is very simple. Do things that interest you. Do things that interest you. Yes, there might be some things that you have to do, like pronunciation drills, but how can I do this while having fun? That's what you can ask yourself. But it's important as well to think I need to make this interesting. I need to make it specific to me. So do things that interest you. Now, I just want to say as well, if you want to read the whole article, go to jamesclear.com slash stay dash focused. And you can just click best articles at the top and it will take you to that article. So thank you, James, for this great article. And um, I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. Now, I just want to say as well, if you haven't done this yet, please do it. This is a free download, seven tips to help you learn English fast. Um, you'll get the PDF sent to your email address. So just go to, to fluency.com slash fast. There's also a link in the description and you'll be able to get that free guide. Also, please share this video. Please like this video and please Share it again. <laughs> I've already said that. But yeah, please share this video with your friends. So thank you for being here. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, so that is the end of the presentation. I am going to stay for a little bit longer and answer comments. I might leave this part in the video. I'm not quite sure yet. But guys, did you enjoy that? Was that useful for you? Please let me know in the comment section. I'm going to go through some of the questions here and I'm going to um, answer any questions you have and go through the comments. So Cancer says, I don't have time to watch on daily, on a daily basis. Yeah, um, just think about how you can incorporate more English into your life. A very, very simple thing to do. I, a lot of you do this, but it highlights the example is to change the device of your sorry, the language of your device into English because you're using your English every time you use your device. So 
That's just one example, but you can do this in many different ways. Greg says, how much time do you suggest, um, su sorry, how much time do you, do you suggest we learn daily? It depends on you and how quickly you want to progress. My, to fl my fluency equation will help you with this and also my book as well because it will help you think about how quickly you want to go from here to here and what you need to do to get there. Um, Thea says, hi Jack, I spent one year learning English. I made good progress, but I feel I'm in the same level. Why is that? It could be that you're not spending enough time daily. Maybe you're not doing the right things and maybe you haven't noticed your progress. This is important to do as well, is to, excuse me, to test yourself every six months to see if you are progressing. Maybe every three months with a teacher. Um, a spoken test is better if that's what you want to focus on. But maybe you haven't noticed your progress because as I've said many times, your progress is all about improving little by little. You learn a new word, you understand um, a different English sound. You see 10 sentences that help you understand a grammar point. So it's lots of little things that all add up. Um, let's have a look. Um, so a lot of people say it's very useful. Thank you so much. Um, Patricia says, I've never studied English formally. I've learned by my own. Very cool. I really enjoyed this lesson, Jack. Thank you for doing this. I'm going to read the book about staying focused now and I'll read your book as well. I think I missed something. Yeah, have a look at the books. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really useful and it's just summarized in an easy way for you. Thea says, I have one to two hours every day. Very cool. Vijay says, <laughs> I love this. It's easy to understand what you're saying, but it's very difficult to understand what characters say in the Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones is tough. One of the biggest things about the Game of Thrones is that they use a lot of references to fantasy. They're talking about fantasy all the time, about invented people, invented countries. Lots of different things as well. And it is really complex language. It's very artistic. You know, TV shows like the Game of Thrones, they are very artistic and it is difficult to understand. But this is a presentation style for English learners. So this is easier to understand. What I recommend is to try and find a TV show that's easier to understand for now. Also, watch TV shows that you've already seen in your native language. That will really help you. Um, Pedro says, thank Jack. I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. Yep, thank you everybody for being here. I'm going to um, end this here. Please let me know if you have any questions below. If you do have further questions. And um, yeah, please share this with your friends. Give it the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done already and be sure to go to tofluency.com slash fast to get that free pdf it's over here did it right this time <laughs> thank you for being here and i'll see you guys next time